Getting familiar with complex Linux concepts. When I first ventured into the Linux world, I realized that there was a whole bag of, of new things to learn. Concepts like kernel modules, uh, file system hierarchy, permissions, security, system management, and shell scripting were difficult to get my head around. Trying to learn these topics often involves pouring through technical documentation and lengthy articles, which can be overwhelming and time-consuming, not to mention the authors often don't write them in beginner-friendly language. With ChatGPT, you can break down intricate Linux concepts into digestible, easy-to-understand explanations. You can even ask follow-up a question or ask for further elaboration on a specific point. This makes your learning more interactive, engaging, and less intimidating. Moreover, uh, you can ask the chatbot to tone down its explanation for different levels of learners. For example, here's one of my conversation with ChatGPT where I asked it to explain the Linux file system. I talk about a note which I wasn't quite familiar with, so I asked for more explanation on that point. The great thing about this is that you can revisit this conversation anytime in future and recall the key points. No need to do multiple Google searches. If you think something is going over your head, you can ask ChatGPT to explain it simply. Here is an example where I ask ChatGPT to explain kernels. Unlike other resources, I can tailor ChatGPT responses to my level of knowledge and understanding, making my learning more effective and easy. Understanding Linux commands in depth. Parts of units in Linux involve learning the command line and importing Linux commands. Whether using the terminal is a must on Linux is a different discussion. However, there is no doubt that using the command line is a way to get the most out of your Linux experience. Now, with so many AI tools, including ChatGPT, you don't have to dread reading main page for hundreds of commands, having dozens of options each. Whether you want to learn the advanced uses of basic Linux commands or the basic of advanced commands, ChatGPT can prove to be helpful. If you don't understand a command, you can ask ChatGPT to explain it, describe it uses in cases and show you real life examples of what you can do with it. You can continue asking about each option or flag that comes with a command to fully grasp its usage. For example, I'd like to learn how to use the MIKFS command. I start by asking what this command is for and when I need it. As a Linux user, there will be many times you'll have to copy and paste large commands from the internet. Sometimes there will be no explanation of what that command does. You can copy the command and ask ChatGPT what it does before you run it on your Linux system. When I was new to Linux, I was having a hard time understanding what sudo apt update uh, but ChatGPT now makes it easy to understand. Here is another example. This command is useful for cleaning up old log files. At first glance, it's difficult to understand, but ChatGPT can break down the command and explain which part is doing what. Fun fact, with a bit of prompting, uh, you could use ChatGPT as a Linux terminal simulator. A ready username zero official is shared along prompt that could turn your ChatGPT conversation into a Linux terminal session. This can be useful when you'd like to learn what a command will do in your system without running it on a real device. Here is the prompt. I want to do act as a Linux terminal. I will type a command and you will reply with what the terminal should show. 
I want you to only reply with the terminal output inside one Wionic code block and nothing else. Do not write explanations. Do not type commands unless I instruct you to do so. When I need to tell you something in English, I will do you I will do so by putting text inside curly brackets like this. My first command is a pwd. Troubleshooting Linux errors. Well, you are a new Linux user and experienced one. You've likely faced errors while navigating the Linux world. Be it the too many open files or the sudo command not found. Error. Troubleshooting them will become a chore as you continue using Linux. When you can find solution for most errors online, the information can often be outdated. I've personally found many top Google search results from 7 to even 12 years old. As you expect, uh, the solution don't work anymore. Uh, that's because you are using a different system than the one they were providing solution for. But ChatGPT and other AI tools are usually up to date with modern system and technologies, so you can expect solutions better suited to your system. The best way to start troubleshooting an error is to know what that error is and what's causing it. You can start your conversation with ChatGPT by asking about these things. Then, of course, you can ask ChatGPT for different methods of solving the issue. Another great use I found for ChatGPT when resolving errors is that sometimes you may find the solution for one distro. You can share that solution with ChatGPT and ask it to tweak uh, the solution for your distro. Here is a simple example where I provided it with a command for installing software on Ubuntu and asked it to show the same command on OpenSUSE. Learn how to do something on Linux. A common mistake a new Linux user makes is to think uh, that Linux is the same as Windows. That's not the case. So when you switch to Linux from Windows for the first time, you'll have to change many of your workflows, from installing software and monitoring processes to navigating the system and configuring the settings. Unlike Windows, which heavily relies on graphical user interfaces, Linux often emphasizes the use the command line interfaces, offering a different way of doing daily activities. For example, on Windows you have a task manager to monitor current processes and resources of Sage. But how do you do uh, the same on Linux? Let's add a ChatGPT. So it gives you all the Linux alternatives to a task manager. Likewise, you can ask ChatGPT for any step-by-step -step process of doing an activity on Linux, and it will show you how to do that creating bash scripts to automate tasks. One of the most po powerful features of Linux is automating tasks through bash scripting. Imagine saving hours worth of time and struggling with doing lengthy and tedious tasks by simply executing a script file. However, for both new and old Linux users, uh, writing a script in an unknown language may seem daunting. But you don't need to learn Bash when you have ChatGPT at your side. For example, I asked ChatGPT uh, to write a Bash script that would log memory and CPU usage every minute. Okay. I wrote a Bash script with proper comments uh, on what's happening in the code. I went further and also provided instruction or using the script customizing it and running in the background pretty neat. Without uh, the AI tool, you'd have to learn bash syntax in depth, know how to create good scripts, and make sure there are no errors, and if there are, look for them. Talk about saving uh, time to save more time. Again, I have to remind you to ChatGPT can make mistakes, and when it comes to running code or scripts on a real system, you should be more cautious. 
navigating Linux with ChatGPT. Embracing Linux no longer means you need to do it alone, when a great and free tutor like ChatGPT exists. Even the most technical terminologies and complex commands become approachable, making a steep learning curve a fun journey.